Hello and welcome back to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales. Yes, we certainly do. Today I'm going to be clowning around. I thought, let's do something totally different. Some people like clowns, some people don't like clowns. But I've got something special to show you in how to paint a face. So I suggest stay around and see what happens. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. Okay, thank you very much for watching that quick introduction. Um, let's have a quick look at the palette. Today I'm using some a little bit of hooker's green. I got some titanium white, some burnt umber, some mid yellow, some mid blue, some mid yellow, and some raw sienna. I've also got some just plain old tap water and some of my thickening gel, which you can find on www.cly5art.co.uk because I'm going to be using uh, a palette knife in part of this painting as well. So I, I want a nice, I, I'm thinking of keeping this for myself actually. But I, I want I want a nice like um, impasso type of a thick type of painting today. So I thought let's see what we can do with a palette knife or a couple of different palette knives. I got a couple of different sizes here. So um, and you can pick them up cheap enough, um, plastic ones in any any art store really. So what we need to do is get our our board. Any board will do. I'm using one of these artist boards. There we are. So. Um, what I'm thinking of doing at first is maybe get a little bit of raw sienna. Let's just get a little bit of raw sienna like that. A little bit of my thickening gel. And as you can see, that's going to that's gonna make it quite thick. Very good. Very good stuff, this. So you don't have to buy heavy, um, heavy paints. All you need to do is get some of my thickening gel. There we are. And a little bit of titanium white there and just add a little bit of that into that like this mixing it up we got that lovely creamy type of color and all i'm going to do is just spread that on around my lines now if you want to find a, an image um out there of a clown or something you want to you want to paint then go ahead and do that i'll make this um painting uh, this drawing available for you on the website www.cly5art.co.uk if you just want to pop along there so you can see i'm I, i'm going to leave it quite rough that's the plan that's the plan sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so we're just going to keep using this little palette knife and this is a number i can't remember what this is i think this is a number three palette knife but it doesn't matter use whatever palette knife you got and then just go around the edges like this. So this is just the background. And all I'm doing is continuing to mix this paint and I'm just going to spread that in on the background like that. A little bit darker in places, a little bit lighter in others. Again, a little bit of my thickening gel I'll put by there so I can just mix that into that like this. I'm just going to spread that around like uh, that. Now, I'll also get a little bit of burnt umber as well, just by there. Now, if you find your paint is um, just dry in a little bit on your palette, get one of my fine mist bottles available on www.cly5art.co.uk. Just give your, your palette just a little mist like that. Just stops the, the, the paint form in the skin, which is what you want. And we can just put a bit of a darker colour in and just... Go to have fun, clown around, enjoy the process of just making a background like that. There we are. A nice thick impasso type of background. And don't worry about it. As you know, if you've painted with me before, I don't worry about too much detail and stuff. This is all about painting, getting involved in painting, de-stressing yourself, de-stressing your life. And just have a bit of fun people get hung up on being too accurate and too precise and things have got to be perfect in art but no they haven't what makes an art what makes a painting a painting sometimes 99% of the time 
is ex expression, freedom of expression. And this is what you want to try and get. I'm just trying to be a bit loose, just adding a bit of colour in. Don't have any plan in mind. Don't have any pattern in mind. Just let it ride across the surface of the canvas like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to continue that process all the way on the other side. I'll just speed that up just a touch because the reason I want to do that today is because I don't want to spend hours and hours and hours just painting a background. So I'm going to continue doing that and just speed this little process up. So I'm just adding some white, just trying to find that colour. Hey, welcome, thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. Visit Clive5R.co.uk Okay, cleaning the palette knife off like this. Now, don't forget, the edge of this palette knife can get very, very, very sharp because when you're doing this on the board, you're actually sharpening the edge like a knife. So be very, very careful. I have sliced my finger, I don't know how many times, like that. So um, I'm just going to mist down my board once again, like this. Um, I'm going to get some white back up there. And a little bit more of my thickening gel. There we are. Let's get a bit more of my thickening agent into the white. It's like making snow for a snow scene. We're going to be doing a mountain shortly. And we're going to use a palette knife for that again. That'd be very good. So I've just got a little roll of paint. A little roll of paint just on the edge of that palette knife. And I'm just going to drag across like this. Just getting a little bit of white into that edge there like that and what that's going to do is just going to give that lovely effect that I'm looking for maybe that's too much there so let's just take that away get a bit more of this brown color in there like that there we are only a little touch just here and there just to make it look I want it slightly darker this side and slightly lighter that side, basically. That's what I'm looking for. And we can always add a bit more paint to this later on. Now, that's going to be a lovely texture on there. It really, really is. So, I'm just going to clean my, my board off like this. I'm just going to put that bit of paint there. I'm just going to give it a little mist. Because I don't want it to dry in case I want to come back to that. Again, getting a bit of tissue paper. And I'm going to just have a look at his hat a little bit now. And I want to, I thought it would be a good idea if I give him some sort of a, a brown hat today. So I'm mixing a bit of my thickening agent. Now if you haven't got any thickening agent, you can go and buy some heavy body paint if you want to. Um, but as I said, with my thickening agent, you can use any acrylic paint, even the cheap ones you'll find in the dollar store and it'll work with it so i had a little bit of yellow a little bit of white just to get two tones so i've got a dark tone and a light tone so i'm going to go into my dark tone just just the edge of my palette knife if you've never painted with a palette knife before give it a go it's fun. You've got no option than to to be loose, really. You've got no option than to be loose with it because it makes you free up a bit. And when you come to paint with your paintbrush, guess what? You'll find that you're a much better artist for using a palette knife. Get that. Get those lovely, lovely paint strokes in there. That's what it's all about. Is that we want that 
Oops, I mixed the two colours together. I shouldn't have done that. It's talking too much. It doesn't matter. We'll get there. Anyway, let's put a bit of light. Let's get a little bit of that light tone in there now. And a bit more dark. It's all globby. Lovely. Right, let's get some of this light to tone. Let's mix a bit more white to that. Just a, just a touch of white. Getting it all nice and mixed. Little roll of paint, little roll of paint on the edge. Getting a bit of highlight into this heart. Nice, it's looking good, it's looking good. Maybe, maybe we are need a bit of black actually, but we'll, we'll, we, can, we can touch a bit of black into that after I think. I think that might be a good idea. In fact, I think I'm gonna put a bit of black onto my palette, because black's always handy. I could mix a bit of blue and a bit of burnt umber together, but to be honest with you, I just want a little bit of black today just to make it easier for myself. So we, I'm just gonna add a bit of black to that just to make it really dark there you go and I'm gonna put a bit of darker shadow just under there I want to put a little bit of darker tone a little bit more black That looks okay. That looks fine. That looks okay. <laughs> right, let's scrape down this palette. What colour hair should we give him? I think we're gonna I think we're gonna work a little bit on the face now, so let's get some let's get some white. And let's get some yellow ochre. I'm mixing some yellow ochre and some white on the palette. Like this with the palette knife. Let's get some more white. Now this doesn't have to be a an accurate skin colour. All we need is approximation and um, this is why I like using a palette knife and, and painting in this type of form. Now you, you, when I said at the beginning I'm going to teach you a way to do a, a, a portrait, um, an easy way. So if you paint a clown, if, if you think about the clown, you, you don't have to worry about the nose because that's going to be red and you don't have to worry too much about detail on the face, on, on the mouth. You know roughly where the mouth is, that's going to be white. You need a little bit of concentration on the eyes. So you've still got that triangle to follow, but you haven't got the detail to worry about. That's that's the key there. So have a bit of fun. Play around with some clowns' faces. And once you get used to knowing where the eyes are and the nose is approximately and the mouth 
once you get that triangle the rest is easy it really is it really really is so i'm looking for a, <clears throat> a skin tone i'm going to just get a touch of red into this i just want to warm this up a bit there you go a bit more burnt umber it's quite pink right let's get a bit more yellow to it let's just try that on there let's have a look yeah that's okay I can live with that so let's get a little bit of my thickening uh, gel and we want to thicken this back up there you go Look at that, that's lovely. Get a bit of that onto our board. Don't forget we've got a bit of that brown in there as well. Already on the board, because it's still damp. So I'm just going to mix that really well. And then we're going to get right on the edge of the, the palette knife. And just get this down like this putting in some of the darker areas on the face like this this is so much fun and you've got You've got very little control, really, over a palette knife, and this is why I love painting with a palette knife, because it, it does actually give you a little bit. It, it, it teaches you a little bit of freedom, it teaches you a little bit of detail work, actually. You've got a little bit more control, is what I'm trying to say. Um, you tend to have a little bit more control or you find that control as you're using the, the palette knife. There you go. You get that painterly effect on this clown like that. So we're clowning around today. So we got some of the the lighter tone of paint. Let's just add a little bit more of my thickening gel to that. I'm not worrying too much about cleaning my palette knife. I just want to get the nice mid tone color in like this and I mean just carry on painting that let's get a bit of white The only real place that we're going to worry about detail um, on this is the eyes. We want to try and get the eyes uh, to pop a little bit. Yeah, let's just get a bit of colour down into there like that. Using the very tip, using the very tip of the a palette knife just to get that paint into place. I thought it'd be nice to do something different today. And as you can see, I haven't got my Clive 5R shirt on or my hat. 
because I just want to relax today. And sometimes when when I'm when I'm thinking about making videos and that, I don't relax as much as I want to. So this is how I I would normally dress if I was painting. Anyway, so I'm just getting a little bit of that darker tone now. Just down that one edge there like that. I'm just going to bring a little bit of the lighter tone. Just under the eye there. And, a, and there's a little bit of a, a cheek coming up. There like that. There you go. So we need to put a bit of light onto this eye, eye as well. This is a little cheek. Is, when he's smiling, I got his cheek is going up. This is what I'm trying to try go, trying to get this effect because I don't want him to look like Pennywise. <laughs> We've never painted with a palette knife before. Please, please, please give it a try. You can do wonderful landscapes and things with with a palette knife. And today I'm using card anyway, so um, that's even better for me. So I'm just going to get a, a smallest amount of red, smallest amount of red, just to give me a, a bit of a pink colour. Now I can feel my pink in and a little bit tacky, so what I'm going to do is just mist down my palette like that, mix that pink back in, and there we go again. So it's not drying. For those people that say acrylics dry too fast, they'll only dry as fast as you want them to do if you use the right methods. There's a, um, a card there, please go and have a look at that, and that's going to help you so, so much. So I got a bit of red. I need to redden that up a bit more because this is a cheerful clown. So I'm just adding more red into that again. Just getting that bit of a pink colour. Because we're going to do a nice red nose on him later on. And let's put a bit of red. Bit of red by there, a bit of pink, a bit of pink there, and let's put a bit of pink just under that hat there, just to warm that side of the face up a bit like that. Here we are. Let's get a little bit of this creamy colour and let's bring a bit of this cheek down. I'm cleaning my palette knife off. I want to get a bit of this pink colour. This um, lighter colour, sorry, over that pink like that. There you go. Now what we need to do now is get some in down on his chin, on his neck, I should say. It's not his chin. You know what I mean. Get that bit of pinky colour in there. Bit more of this creamy colour. And let's get a little touch of black. Just add in a smallest amount of black to a bit of paint that I'm just going to scrape off. So I'm going to make it like a dirty colour, just like a very, very tip, very, very tip of the brush, uh, palette knife, very, very tip. And a bit more black, I think, in fact. 
Just want to put a shadow. Like that. And maybe put a little shadow just under there. And we'll play with that in a second because it's a little bit wet at the moment. It's a little bit wet. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scrape my palette knife down, scrape my palette board down, give it a wash. I shall be back in two minutes because I'm going to grab myself a drink because I'm getting a bit dry. <laughs> okay, so I've got a nice clean board now and I've got myself a bottle of water, which is really good because I like spring water. So, right, so let's get some yellow. Let's just get a, a blob of yellow like that. Boom. And uh, a little bit of red. Only a small amount of red like that. Look, boom. And let's mix that up. We got a bit of a orangey colour come in. Whee. Orange will go well. It will. Orange will go well. Let's just get a little bit more yellow. Boom. Like that. Doom, doom, doom. Right, we need a bit more burnt amber on our palette. One a second while I get some burnt amber. That's Rosian. We don't we want burnt amber. Burnt amber. A bit of an amber that is burnt. Excuse me, that was the pot, not me. <laughs> okay, so let's get a bit of this colour in. Doom. Like this. Let's get a bit of this colour in. Doom. What we didn't do is mix some of my thickening paste to that. That's better. I don't know what happened then. I was thinking about when I had appendicitis when I was young. I was only about 17 and that actually creeped into my head then. Why, why do these things happen sometimes? I'm doing something totally different and all of a sudden I think about when I was in hospital with appendicitis. It don't make sense. Must have been some sort of a, a clown then. Perhaps there was a picture of a clown or something I seen and then subconsciously it just popped into my head. It's not something I think about really, is my my appendicitis. That was a long time ago. It's um, nearly, nearly 40 years ago. <laughs> Why? Why did I think of that? I don't know. It's funny, the brain is a funny thing. It really is. There must have been a clown or something. There must have been something that, that sparked that memory circuit into my brain and gone pitch all these little neurons firing away bang 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 i know we're totally confused clive and we'll think about appendicitis okay so get them lines in because it's hair that's what you want lines yes burnt number a little bit of burnt number doom mix a bit of that in there like that nice dark color edge of the palette knife that's the back of his head the hair coming up to the back of his hair like that I'll leave a little spot by there and let's get a little touch of black doom push darken that up again like that push Put a bit of that in there. Bang. Bang. Don't think about it. Bush. Zing. Wing. A bit of shadow in there like that. Touch of black. Bit of black down there. There you go. One of his, we'll put a little bit of highlight on that in a second. Um, clean off the palette knife again. Let's get some of this yellow. Um, mix some bit of my thickening paste to that. There you go. 
this colour in. Let's add a bit more white. Let's get that colour in. These are one of the painting, this type of painting is something that I would do just when I'm sitting up in the studio and I thought I'd just go and paint something like a clown, I don't know. I'm just going to have a go. I'm just going to have a laugh today. And inevitably I don't put the camera on. <laughs> and I think to myself sometimes, oh, I should have put the camera on. That would have made a lovely lesson. And then I think, I know, I'll go and repaint it. And then you go and repaint it. And, and, and then it's not as good as the first one. And you think, why isn't it as good as the first one? Because this is inspiration. The other one is a copy. It's different. Because you haven't got the inspiration from being spontaneous. If you're spontaneous, you will find that things are a lot better. And this is why I like building up layers and layers of paint like this into my clown with this type of medium it's wonderful it really is just adding more white into that look at this scrape it up scrape a bit of that up nothing goes to waste it's spontaneous let's get a bit of highlight in there like that let's get a bit more white It's not bright enough. Sometimes you want it a little bit brighter. Like that. Wee! <laughs> I quite like him. I think he's looking pretty good. I think he's looking pretty good. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna lighten that up again. I want to put a little bit more light because this just needs to be brightened up just a touch there. I'm going to get some of my thickening paste. A bit more white. Dum, 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 nope, not bright enough. Keep going. On da da de do. If you're not spontaneous, how can you how can you plan things? Build it up. There we are. Let the painting develop. It's not easy to do when you when you're making lessons like this. It's taken a long time for me to to learn how to paint and video and talk at the same time. There we are. I quite like that. I quite like that. Now, using this yellow there, let me get a bit of tissue roll, tissue, tissue paper, kitchen paper, whatever you want to use, watch that sharp edge. You don't want to slice your finger. That's not what you want to do. Okay, so we then spread that on there like that. Let's get a nice lump of white paint. Boosh! Bring a bit of yellow into it. Look at that. Get a bit of a thickening agent in there. Whoosh! Maybe went a, bit, went a bit overboard there, Clive. You don't need a lot, actually. Don't do what I do. That went, I went a bit overboard on that one. It doesn't matter. Let's put his makeup on.
notoriously thick paint um, this makeup notoriously thick makeup actually I want to give him a little bit of a I hope he looks happy now and, and not like Pennywise that's the only fear I've got now is <laughs> I make his eyes a little bit weird let's put his ear in there maybe get a bit of that pink after I can hear my cat boo running across the the roof of the studio because I've got Molly in the other side of my studio there she's sleeping on my on my chair and boo knows she's in here and she doesn't like it I'm actually glad I took a day off work today and come in the studio and decided to do a painting for you I want to thank you for joining me in the studio today and the way you can pay me back for this is just give me a thumbs up and a like a comment I find it increasingly difficult to keep up with my comments now at the moment because there's so many people out there 148,000 of you and a big percentage of that are leaving me comments and I'm finding it hard work but I will get back I will get to them I promise I will it might take me a little while but I promise you faithfully I will answer every single comment Just put it in this. Base color for the moment. Don't forget this is acrylics. This is acrylics. It's not oils. It's not gouache. It's nothing like that. It's just acrylics. And if you want to paint in acrylics, like you do with oil paints, this is the way to do it. This is the way, is to use my thickening agent, so you can get that effect. And as you can see, my paint is not drying. This is in real time, only when I say that I'm going to take a break, do I take a break. Most of this then, not all of it, this is, is in real time then. Okay, how is he looking so far? He's looking pretty good, I think. Um, okay. So I'm going to take a little bit of this white. I'm going to, what can I add to this white? I'm going to add a little bit of that raw sienna to it. Because I want to do his shirt. In the same type of color. Like that. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay, <clears throat> so we can see a shirt that came in on there. We need to get a little bit of burned umber into that now. I'm 
as we've been doing all the way along this painting and just bring in some shadow marks like this a bit of black I'm thinking now, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Thinking of shadows. Let's get a bit of black there. like that so I just use a bit of my finger then just to move a bit of that out the way okay now let's continue with this bit of burnt umber I need to get some spray paint uh, sp spray paint it's not spray paint Clive it's misted a bit of misty water on there and what I want to do now is just bring a bit of shadow into his mouth area trying to develop a lip there Where's my flesh tone mix? Just picking up a little bit of flesh tone mix. I don't know what might help now if I put his nose in. bit of red will make this pop we get a bit of black now into that red
can see I'm concentrating, can you? Bit of white. No, we need a little bit of yellow, I think. I nearly made a classic mistake and I'm mixing white with red <laughs> to make it lighter when you can't do that. Mix a bit of yellow in there, like that. Trying to get detail and with a palette knife is not easy. This is a challenge. This is a challenge for you. But this really is. Let's put a bit of light there like that. I'm <laughs> uh, not happy with that bit but there, so I'm just going to take a bit of colour down there like this, I think. What should we call him? Chalky the Clown? Chalky? Corky? Corky the Clown? Needs a bit of light. Needs a bit of light. Need a bit of light in there. Mixing a bit of white. Just draining a bit of paint like that. It's a touch of black now, just to... Put some lines in like this now. A touch of black just on the tip of the brush like this. Brush, it's not a brush, it's a part knife. He's looking okay, I think. I think he's looking okay. He's starting to look a bit clown like now. We've got a little bit more detail to do. But before we do that, um, I'm just going to get some burnt ember onto my palette. In fact, i tell you what I'm going to do. is I'm going to just clean my palette off again and another drink. And we'll have a look at his, his body, I think. What I'm going to do now is concentrate on his, on his, um, in his jacket. Um, we've got to give, revisit the face then, um, just put the details in, I'm, I want to put a few different things on the background, that is drying quite nicely, um, I might have to leave that a rest a little bit, anyway, so I've got some of my 
my thickening paste I'm going to mix into some burnt umber like that If you mix it a little bit thick, get your mist bottle, spray a little bit of water onto it like that, and that's going to allow you to use that like that. I quite like this thick anyway. There we go. So I'm just going to carry on with the body. Welcome, thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. Visit Clive5R.co.uk. Okay, <laughs> so I sped that up just a little bit. Um, so um, what I want to do now is just get a touch of blue. I'm just going to get a touch of blue into this tone that I put done with the shirt. You know, so I want a bit of a blue, bluey green type of whitey color. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't really matter, does it? I want to get a bit of that color in there now, like this. I just want to separate this shirt away like that. I'll just play a little bit around with some colors. You can do this shirt any color you want. Use your imagination. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is just bring that out. There, like that. A bit more black. Making this up as I go along, oh, really. Yes, that looks good. Looks good so far to me. I'm just going to go quiet a minute, a minute while I try and sort this out. Give him a bit of a
bow tie. Dots of white <laughs> Coco the Clown. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to let this dry a little bit because that's important because I want to do a little bit of detail work and I want to um, just tidy up around. So, But I'm happy with the, the stage I've got it so far. I'm really happy with that. Like I said, I'm just going to let that dry for 20 minutes or so and I'm going to be back to that then. And that's just going to get the paint tacky so I can put the brush on get some detail in there and just just bring it just make it punch a bit just make it punch okay so come back it's, it's still a little bit wet here in, in places um I, it's a good thing to stand away sometimes and, and stand back because you get a bit um involved in the painting and i've noticed that his shoulders dip in <laughs> so what i decided to do is get a little bit of my thickening agent into some burnt umber and uh, I've just cleaned my palette off as well. And I'm just going to bring his shoulder back out, maybe across there like that. I'm going to get a bit of black to that. Am I get black on there? Yeah. see these things sometimes unless we we stand back and look one of these Let's just get a bit of that color in there Got one of these jackets with these big shoulder pads in so it looks a bit better I think maybe we want to let's bring it down there a bit more I'll do I'll do I'm happy I'm happy I'm happy right let's mix a little bit of this I'm just going to add a little bit of this face paint into the burn number like that. Just to lighten that up. Because I want to make this collar a little bit more prominent. Like that. Put a bit of light in there. Okay, 
Okay, now I think, I think, let's put a little bit of this colour under his chin for there. Darken that state down a bit for there. We could get some white. Actually, I need to put some more white on my palette in a second. I'm just trying to get his lip there. I'm just going to put a spot more white paint onto my palette. always use more white paint than you think. I've mentioned this before. It's surprising the amount of white paint you actually use. When you go to buy paint, always make sure you buy twice as much as any other colour. Got a bit of contamination in there, but it's okay. cup of tea earlier and then a chicken sandwich and um, it was really nice the chicken and spinach okay. spinach is really good for you where I can put the, the white paint because that's his face makeup if you think about it I think we're ready to get the brush. Get the brush. Let's get a brush. Um, I think I'm going to use a. Let's going to use a. Use a number one. I'm going to go into some black. And I'm thinning down my paint with some water. What I want to do now is just get this black to pick up some shadow like that. Making sure this is nice and thin. Ok, 
like uh, that black type of line that they put on their makeup there. And that. That's his top lip. That's his bottom. He's good. He's good enough. <laughs> oh, he is now. It's a mixture of part knife now and brush. Just, just trying to bring this clown alive with a little bit of depth. There we go. If you like clowns, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this on my shop for sale. So pop along. If you want to purchase this painting, then you can. It is what it is. It's as rough as I painted it. I wouldn't have it any other way. Gonna get some <coughs> white. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna get some white paint now. Paint a little bit in the eye. Trying to make him <laughs> a happy looking clown if I can. Just give him a nice blue like blue eye, shall we? A bit of a blue eye. That's where the blue come in. Fussy, don't be fussy.
Put a bit of sparkle onto his nose here. It's been sparkling in his eye. <laughs> Give it a bit more white paint around there, I think. Just got a little bit of grey. Play with this for hours. You can play with this for absolute hours and hours and hours. Okay, let me, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a little short flat. That's gonna be hard. I didn't clean that one very well, did I? Yeah, me. Look after your brushes, don't do what I do and let them dry. There you go. I'll clean that one. I quite like him. He looks like, he looks like a very really sad clown. <laughs> if you like what you've seen today, please, please, please click the subscribe button leave me a thumbs up I'm gonna sign this one and uh, a comment five five there you go we'll leave it at that and um, let me know what you think have a go the tracing is uh, on the, on the shop page this is going to be available for sale um, if you want to purchase it you can um the price will be there um oh i just noticed something see this is this is the thing see this is the thing we need to put a little line there like that there you go please like comment share and subscribe don't forget to click the subscribe button down by there over there is another video you might be interested in and down below is a, a link to directly to the shop where you want to purchase this. So thank you very much. All the other ingredients and products are there as well. So thank you very much for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Bye.